Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G Flair. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall, some say he's a man. But you, you were saying that. That they, they just wanted to happen so quick and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they wanted to happen quick. Uh, they wanted to happen real fast, and I think they fall in love with more of the, not the music, the material aspect of it. Like, like a certain artist from Shreveport, I was putting him with somebody that can blow him up down here, and he would not get with them because it wasn't a money thing. But this person could have took them. But he wanted the money so he can have the material look. As a rap, like, uh, you got Lil Migo, you got Bankroll Freddy, you got... They seeing what QC doing with the people, but y'all got to remember when QC and Migos, how they looked at it at the beginning. They got a video out like that. All of them started together. They, and I'm, I'm not saying QC was broke, but he wasn't looking like he was looking today. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I think they, they, they were very impatient. They impa Artists are just so impatient. And that's something you just don't like about the game? Is, is that one thing that you don't like about the game that... How yeah, they, they they want it. They want it quick. They want like when they come to me with their music, like, and I tell them I charge them or whatever. They want me to, uh, then they they want you to play number three, number four, number five. Like, which song are you working on? You know, let's build a relationship. Let's have a sit down. You know what I'm saying? They get in my DM, man. You gotta fuck with me. I'm the hottest shit going. And then when I click on your page, is you and your cheering? Is you and like is you a, you you fresh in the motherfucker? But ain't nothing about your music on here. Ain't no ain't no uh, YouTube's. Ain't no iTunes. Ain't no Spotify's. Like. How are you the hottest shit going right now? I'm not, I'm not getting this. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm, like, how are you the hottest shit going now? You may believe in yourself. And another thing I know what's going on, these rappers' friends don't tell them the truth. They don't tell them the truth. Because I'm the nigga going to tell you the truth. And it's either you going to take the truth or you going to say I'm a hater. Have you, ever, have you ever fell out with an artist or somebody you was close with because you gave them your honest opinion? I fell out with them in a, in a battle argument. I'm going to make this make sense. Not like we're gonna go fight a guns, like a, a argument of you can't really tell them nothing. Like just say if oh man I'm trying to push this song and you let me hear four songs and I'm telling you that ain't the one. This is it, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. Nah, man, cause this is man. Everybody, every, they keep saying everybody saying this one. I'm the D. I'm telling you, it's not that one. It's this one. Mm -hmm. But you don't still don't want to listen. Now, how long have you really been doing this stuff? I've been doing this since 2005. I've been I've been around this music. I was, like I said, I was rapping at first. I got old videos of me rapping at car shows, opening up for people. I would open up for Webby in front of 10,000 people in Shreveport at Gillum. Yeah, Webby. And they started shooting and Webby jumped in the limo and phew, got to spread out. I, w I was opening up for Yo Gotti when he had the little, little Yo Gotti van. So yeah, I've been around this shit. That's why I got a lot of knowledge of it. I know. I'm just waiting on the big bag too. So uh, some people might say, man, shoot, you've been DJing for a while and you still not where you want right, to go. Right. You might as well leave it alone. Like, right. so that's how some people think. No. You can't. Why you think, okay, make, why, make it make sense. Why you think Fat Joe, Rick Ross, well, Fat Joe been out too, but Rick Ross, 2 Chains, they still have a young appeal about themselves. They didn't get to do all this shit in their 20s. It took Rick Ross like 16 years. Yeah, you don't man. never supposed to give up. Yeah, it, remember just recently before the young boys and Fredos and uh, XXT and the Six Nine and who else? But before these young artists, it was everybody was pretty. It was because we was just talking about this about a couple, two, three, four years ago. Every artist was thirty and up. Like every hot artist was in their thirties. It wasn't no teenage artists. You remember that? It wasn't no young. Now the young game that brought came back, but now some of your older people. Yeah, yeah, because of their Instagram. And the phones. And yeah, the, the phones. Instagram. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, so it was a, like, it was a, that's why, that's why you look at these artists and you don't know they 42 or 45. Look at Fabulous. Fabulous, like, he 28. Yeah, boy, 40-something. Yeah, he 40-something. So at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm never going to give up. I'm never going to give up. Like, I just think people going to have, like, a person like me, I'm going to have a good year. Everybody has a good year. You ever notice that? When somebody make it, they have a good year run. Mm. From Rich Homie Quan to Lil Flip, like everybody, T.I., they had that one year where they just, and I'm going to get my year. Mm. You're going to get it for sure. I'm going to get my year.